two African men from Gambia and Nigeria are being called heroes for risking their own lives to save the people that were affected in the Venice accident. The bus lost control and flew off the bridge and fell into a train rail and so many people already lost their lives. It was a tourist bus but once the brothers heard the commotion from their apartment they said they saw through their window their kitchen window and they realized that there has been an accident so they ran out the door to help the people that were in the accident they were able to save so many people but unfortunately about 20 people lost their lives in that accident let me show you the clip of what happened in venice we'll come back and discuss in the darkness, emergency crews are battling to rescue the injured and recover the dead. The bus upturned and crushed by the force of the fall. From up on the bridge it veered off, you can see the drop. Eyewitnesses say the bus then caught fire when it hit the ground. It happened in the Mestre district on the mainland across the water from Venice's tourist centre. In a statement on social media, the city's mayor said the scene at the crash site was apocalyptic and Italy's prime minister expressed her deepest condolences. On the bridge, you can see where the bus went through the crash barriers. Investigators are now trying to work out why. Odion Ibogbe and Bobakar Taure, who are from Gambia and Nigeria, quite literally risked their lives to help these people and when they were asked why they did this and if they didn't fear for their lives because it was an exploding bus there was fire quite literally the fire was so bad that the autopsies cannot find fingerprints on those that lost their lives so they had to take dna in order to know who is who so when they were asked about their experience he said quote i wasn't scared i didn't think of my own safety because i saw people hurting and he said when his colleagues were asking him what were you thinking in that moment he said he was just seeing the women and their children hurt so that's all he cared about all he can think about is saving the women and children because he also said that he heard a woman screaming my baby so it was quite a traumatic accident not just for the people that got hurt but also this man because they were just in their kitchen chilling one second and the next they are trying to save lives and risking their own lives they both said that they were not thinking about themselves and this shows how selfless this man were and also you can understand why people were giving them the name heroes because they definitely were the heroes of that night anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about this young man i am ongil zalalem i'll see you on the next one bye